Hello and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. Today we will be doing a reading for Cancer for January 2021. This could resonate with you and it may not, okay? So if it does not resonate with you, that's fine. Throw it out into the universe to someone who can use it. You can check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. If you do not find that any of those resonate with you, just check other readers on YouTube. Thank you, and we're going to get right into it. I'm going to be using the Moonology cards, uh, Oracle. Um, bear with me, y'all. Oracle cards. I didn't do quite a few readings today, so this is the last reading for the day. So I'm just making sure that I am tuning in, and I'm not saying the wrong uh, sign. So we're trying to tune in here to Cancer. Give me a minute. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. One more. I just I just got to do it because I'm making sure that I'm on the right energy. Okay. So three cards for Cancer. All right, Spirit. Three cards for Cancer for the energies Cancer may be dealing with. Three cards that Cancer may be. Three cards for the energies Cancer may be dealing with for the month of January of 2021. Please give me two, two more cards. Actually, is this one? Yeah, this one. Okay, guys. I'm just hey. Two more cards, spirit guides. No, I don't. I think I just got lazy on that card that that wasn't your card, Cancer. Come on now, Cancer. What's wrong? Cancer not feeling good. Cancer, let's talk to me, Cancer. I want to talk. I feel it. Cancer's like, I, I, I'm just not feeling it right. Okay, well, they're not feeling it right then, but they're feeling it now because they like, you just think I'm stop. All right, y'all know I got cancer in my chart, so I can say whatever I want when it comes to cancer because this is my moon. Okay, under the bottom cancer, you have expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Okay, uh, at least two of my other readings has that same card for the new year coming into January 2021. So there are a lot of changes that's going to be taking place moving forward i think people was finding out a lot of things to be grateful for a lot of people is just changing and just realizing life is just too short and them old behavior and habits and things that we used to do you know when it was deceptive and things like that we just got to change it and uh so i think this is expect powerful changes is really coming out with a lot of signs okay so the first one says it's time to release negativity so, Cancer, there's some negativity that you need to work on. It says release negativity. And it says full moon and Scorpio. So, something happened in Scorpio season, Cancer, that's caused some negativity in your energy. And you need to release it. Okay? Uh, because the only way you can move forward is... I mean, it's not the only way. But when you're moving forward or you're trying to... Um, get this outcome or beginning that you want out of life or stable yourself out or have this new trans what is it okay I'm just hearing transformative transformative energy Higher vibe energy, working from a more higher vibe energy, expecting more higher vibe energies to come in. You know, the negativity has to go because it'll keep you on the lower level of lower vibe energy people, lower vibe energy opportunities, right? So if you want a better opportunity for yourself, you have to let the negativity go. It's just, I mean, there's no way around it. A, a new start is coming uh, in the new moon. So cancer, you're down. Okay, this is a cancer. Just feeling a little negative. Something didn't work out the way you wanted. But there's new opportunities coming. Just change your mindset. Um, you're very you're very close to achieving your goal. So whatever you've been manifesting, wishing, wanting, the spirit is saying, you know, for January 2021, change it, drop that ne negativity, and have a different mindset. Uh, 
and you're moving forward in January 2021. From now on up into uh, January 2021, that you know uh, a new start is coming, and you're more closer now. You know you're more close to your uh, achieving your goal. So whatever it is, was it love? Was it a new job? Was it different stability? Is it a new house, new car? Whatever it is, you're getting close to it. But before you can go into 2021 in January, you have to drop uh, or this. You, it, it's time to release the negativity, whatever it is. Whether something didn't turn out the way you thought or you having negative thoughts about a situation, you know, whatever it is, is negative. You need to release it. Bring your energies high, you know, high, um, vibrate from a higher level, right? Uh, a higher commitment of you, a higher commitment of what you deserve, a higher commitment there's something better for you. Uh, vibrate on a, on a higher level that whatever is meant for you is for you. No matter how much you thought something was for you, cancer, evidently there's something that didn't work out. And you're figure, figuring out, like, this should have been mine. This should have worked out for you. But the universe works in divine timing. And then it, when you put that energy out there, you know, and, and, and if you was feeling less than or you was codependent or you just was, you, it's a possibility not seeing things for what they actually were in the situation. If any of that happened, this is an opportunity for you to release the negativity so that the fresh new energies and opportunities can come into you, Cancer. So let's get some tarot cards on these cards. So I'm going to do two cards for each one, and then we'll see what else the messages is. Uh, I'm going to shuffle. Give me three shuffles, Cancer. We're going to do three shuffles for you, Cancer. I already shuffled, but we're going to make sure we get another shuffle in. Spirit guys, show me the energy surrounding cancer for January 2021. Show me the energy that could be surrounding cancer for January 2021. Spirit guys, show me the energies surrounding cancer for January 2021. Show me the energy surrounding cancer. No, show me the energies surrounding cancer. surrounding show me the energies I'm guys I'm gonna show you all the cards once I get them laid out here I just want to get them out Surrounding cancer for January 2021. Let's see if I can jump. Tell me the energy surrounding cancer for January 2021. Okay, cancer. Now you're playing with these last two cards. It's like a pick a boo situation or something. Like you ain't sure. Do you undecided? Undecisively. One more spirit. Give me one more for cancer. Okay. There. 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 Okay. It wasn't time yet. Okay. Under the bottom, you got the three of swords. Just as I talked. Just as I was talking about cancer, I felt it. I felt it because when I got into your energy, things changed from the previous 
uh, reading I was doing. So we got the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So the overall energy we're dealing with a heartbreak. Um, we're definitely dealing with a heartbreak here, Cancer. So let's just get into the reading and see what the spirit guys have the messages for Cancer at this time. Okay, under it's time to release negativity. Your two cards are the Queen of Pentacles and the World. Oh my gosh, this is like resonating. Um, mm. Cancer, the Queen of Pentacles can be an earth sign around you. Probably very abundant and nourishing, trying to do the right thing. Um, and, um, you could be having some negativity towards, uh, an outcome with a situation that perhaps the, that you were, uh, working on with this earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, could be either. Uh, then you have the world card. So the world card talks about the end of a cycle and a new one beginning. This is also, you know, once you release the negativity that you have, and it could be uh, that you have, it could be towards your abundance, uh, how you see yourself, your stability. Once you release and accept where you are at this time and release all the negatives, not the war is me cancer, right? Not the cancer that uh, down on a self, not seeing a self worth, believing they're not good enough, right? Um, or maybe they feeling their money is not right, or you know, people may come in and maybe they use them in some type of way when it comes to their money, or cancer just walks around sometime looking for love. And you may have thought you found love in a place where maybe love was not actually truly there at this time. Okay, and um, but you got to release that negativity for you to have, you know, a new beginning for that cycle to end. That cycle has to end the mindset of, oh, you know, I'm not abundant enough. I'm not pretty enough or I'm not stable enough or this is not what they looking for. And, and, and it's because of you feeling that you have less to offer. Well, you have everything to offer, right? Cancers, if they don't have anything, they got love. And people, what makes the world go around? Love. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have no one to love and share it with, it's, you know, and some people, well, I'm fine. I can take that. No. It's lonely at the top, really. It truly is. Even though people portray all the time that, oh, I'm fine just being by myself. And that could also be the negativity of, you know, releasing that, oh, I'm fine by myself. I'll never find anyone stable, equal, give and take. Whatever the negative mindset or lower vibe energies that you are inflicting upon yourself, the universe says, let it go because, you know, the world is the end of that old cycle. Coming in January 2021, they need you to release that negativity because uh, a new start is coming. And under a new start, you have the Five of Cups and then you got the Ten of Cups. Okay. So you go from the Five to the Ten. You know, the Five of Cups is, okay, turning your butt around. Okay, Cancer? Because this is all you. This is all love. This is all emotional. This is all emotional for you, right? Because you guys are so emotional. You you, 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 you know, you water, you know? That's how you wave out. That's how you build, you know? You get on that sand and you dig the little holes and put yourself down in there and somebody sit down on the sand. Nobody know you there until they sit down and you pop your head up out of the... Like, like no, so now come, come out up out of the sand. Let people see you. Let them see who you are. Let them see your worth. Or you so much come out and show your worth. Stop sticking your head and you're putting your little paws and still going down in the sand. Come out of the sand for a little while. I know that's where you're happy at. Maybe go out in the water, get a little drink of water, then come back. 
You know, put a little mud down there, muddy it up a little bit or whatever the situation. Or maybe that's what happened. Someone came and put, you thought you was hiding out and you had the perfect hide out. And, and then someone came and you let them in and show them around and they didn't muddy up your little sand house. And now you got to move and find another one and you ain't happy with that because they didn't just disturb your peace. And, you know, cancer don't want it. They just stay there. You know, the tide coming in and you like, you know, in a minute the water's coming and you going to be washed out of here back this way or that way. And, you know. Little crowd sitting there like, no, I, I can handle it. I had tides before. Look, change the negativity. Change the thought. Look for new. Look for fresh, right? So maybe this situation didn't turn out the way that you turned. But you got an earth sign that's around you. That's helping you with this new uh, world, this new beginning. And they're going to be a good friend to you. They're going to be there for you no matter what. Someone's pretty strong around you and maybe probably stable too. And you depend on them or maybe not so much depend on them, but you have some like mind ideas or someone you just like sharing and talking with. So, you know, grasp on to that to help release the negativity. Sometimes you just need someone to talk to about the changes you have to make within yourself. You know, and, and it could be part of that, going out, meeting new people, talking to new people, and coming up out of that shell, coming up out there saying what people can see you, not just be popping your head out because somebody coming to disturb you, you know, come out, you make some disturbance sometime. Don't let them just come and disturb your whole household and then walk away. You make some disturbance yourself, you know, I'm just saying. All right, counsel, let's keep going. But the five of cups is turning around. And really, that's crying over spilled milk. You got two cups still standing in front of you and you didn't see it. But you have to see that because if you pick your head up out the sand and see that there's two cups still standing, you got the ten of cups right after that. that uh, the ten of cups is everything. And that's wish fulfillment. That's family, stability, money, love, harmony. Uh, that's everything. The ten of cups is the wish fulfillment. Okay? That's having that stableness. That's having that equal give and take in a relationship. That's having that family. That's being able to balance your time out with your family, with the new love that you have, along with your friends, bills are paid, maybe a new car and a house, whatever. But it's all stable. It's the, can, that's being happy and content with a situation, even if it's just within you. Being happy within you, knowing you've come a long way. Looking back at where maybe you was with the Five of Cups and now you at the Ten of Cups, realizing you really should be grateful. You really should. Because this is truly a new start. It's coming. And that's where this falls, under the Ten of Cups. And my new start is the Ten of Cups. I'm going to go from the Five to the Ten of Cups. Uh, cancer, you need to get ready for this new start. You need to drop the negativity so that you don't miss this, what the universe is bringing in. So whoever hurt your heart, whatever uh, that you feel, you've been in situations not give and take, uh, if you've been feeling left out in the cold, if you've been feeling, seeing, dealing with third-party situations or feeling people don't see you for who you are and you're tired of walking away from relationship after relationship because you're not getting the fulfillment out of the relationship that you want, that all you need to do is release the negativity and the universe say they will take care of the rest because a new start is coming for you. And underneath your third car, you're very close to achieving your goal. So there's something you've been manifest. You've been acting in the universe, talking to them and manifesting it. And now you feeling you ain't good enough? Is that it, Cancer? Are you not having the strength and the understanding to know this that Everything happens for a reason. You know, this is a journey. And if you were in a relationship and it didn't work out or you thought you had the right person and it didn't work out, those are lessons. Those people are not always in our life for a reason. They just reason or season, okay? They could be reason and season, but it doesn't mean a lifetime. You could be with a person 20 years and think they're supposed to be there a lifetime and know they had a season. Now, what happens, the turbulence comes when a person is there for a season and you try to keep them there for a lifetime. 
You may need to realize is that what's happening. Is there something or something in your life that only supposed to be there for a season and you're trying to make it a lifetime? Well, the spirits are saying you ought to release that negative because you cannot take it into January 2021. If you want this change in your life and you want the blessings and this new journey um, that's going to be a wish fulfillment, ten of cups, so you just about having it all. And I'm not saying it's a fantasy, you're going to be happy and ain't nothing ever going to go wrong. What I'm saying is the spirit guys are saying it's your time. And the way you accept that and acknowledge that in your mind, your heart, and your soul your outside surroundings and your inner temple is, is the way. So which way will you want it? That's how it's going to come to you. That is the way it will come to you to fulfill your happiness. But you have to change all that around you in order to do that. So underneath, you know, you're very close to reaching your goal. You know, you have the Ten of Wands and you have the Two of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands is a burden. So, burden with all kinds of situations. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Let me just give out a, a couple. Did I, tell, did I mention the signs already? Okay. Anyway, what you got? Earth. You, you could be dealing with a, a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You could be dealing with a, Spice, a Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or uh, a Cancer like yourself, actually, because there is a lot of water here, you know? Um very little you may be dealing with a Gemini. I don't see much as it being Gemini, but I'm I'm basically seeing earth, fire, and water. Okay? But anyway, um this two of pentacles is jug juggling. You're just like juggling these ten of wands. Like the ten of wands not no longer need to be carried. They don't even need to go into January of 2021. Those burdens need to be dropped because after the 10, you drop it, it turns to a 1, right? 10 is 1. That's it. That's done. Capoose, right? And maybe carrying someone else's burden or just got so many burdens on you of what you feel you're not fulfilling or people coming to you with their situations and you're carrying those burdens. And you're and literally, you mean to tell me the two of pentacles is someone juggling. So you are sitting up here juggling if you should drop ten wands. Um, I think your journey going to be much lighter if you put some of those wands down. I think it'll be much lighter. You see the horse, you see it'll be much lighter on that horse too. You see that? Because he going to mess around the pass out. He's not going to keep carrying all them burdens. Uh, you sitting up there on the horse juggling. Two of Pentacles. Do I, should I keep it? Should I not? Should I drop this? Focus on me and know what it is I deserve and see my worth? Or should I keep carrying the burdens? Or, or just keep feeling bad about myself and knowing that, you know, maybe it was this that was wrong. Maybe that's what happened, why they didn't see me. Don't make the excuses for other people. You don't need anybody to validate your greatness, Cancer, right? Okay, so what you loving and you want a commitment and you want somebody that don't mind spending that time and sharing and looking out and caring for you. That's all you want is equal give and take and and a commitment, so don't give up on that. That's what you've been manifesting. And from the cards here, as soon as you drop that zero, then you're going to go right into exactly what the universe has, which is you're very close to achieving your goal. And once you drop that hero, you become, I mean, drop that zero and get that hero, because that was going to come out, whatever, y'all. I am tired, but the message is still coming. It won't stop. Soon as you drop that zero, you have a hero. Okay? That's just plain and simple. And I'm not saying everybody that now you gotta drop everybody, they all zeros. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying, the zeros is not zero people, like literally zero people. Because everybody has value to them. What I'm saying is dropping that wrong understanding or that inner understanding of you're not good enough for someone, right? 
That is what I'm saying. Not that someone's not worth. It's just it's not the one on your path. It's not the one you're meant to be with. It's not the one you're meant to bring into January 2021. At least not at this time. The gods have something better for you. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that you're better than this person or that bad person is better than you. What I'm saying is cancer, see your worth. If you choose to have a committed relationship, that is what you want to equal give and take. Someone to sit up on the couch and watch TV and hug or go shopping with and do this and you got people uncommittal, then you need to release them. That's the negativity. Release the negative mind thought that you have to settle. We don't settle, cancer. There's no more settling. We do not settle for January 2021. What we gonna do is stand up, realize what it is we want, and go and get it at all costs by changing that negative energy. And it's, yes, I'm into it. I'm being more passionate because I have cancers and cancer in my chart, and I know cancers. And they're so loving and caring. And sometimes they, you know, appear to be stronger than they really are, all right? in mindset, but their hearts are mush, okay? Under that shell, they are mushy. And some people know that, and they take advantage of that. And then sometimes, you know, cancers go in that shell, and they put that shell up. That's to protect them from this the soft part, being gooey and getting hurt and all that. But all the time, that's all, you know, being bottled up inside and study opening and releasing so that they can move on and, you know, move their little shells and, and their little shell babies on to another place because the tide was coming in. I'm just, I don't know why I'd be saying that. Anyway, uh, after expect a powerful change, you got judgment and, the, and then you have the three of cups. The judgment and the three of cups. So, Cancer, I see two situations here. When they expect a powerful change, something you thought was yours or something you thought was true could be the reason you feel in the way it is because maybe it was a third party situation and it's been a judgment made on that and you see this situation clearly now. But you just got to release the negativity because know that that person wasn't for you. So you release them in love and light because that, that person was not for you. The spirit guys have something better for you. That that person was not in alignment with you. They was having third parties and not being true or they had other energies. They was entertaining uh, along with you and were not giving you your full worth and attention that your soul actually really wanted. And I don't think that you was being codependent on anyone. I think you just truly wanted someone to have an equal give and take with. And this person, they was non-committal. They're still probably non-committal. But they came into cancer whenever, you know, they thought the water was going to dry up. And cancer kept on, you know, sticking their head up out the sand. I moved my sand box over here, you know. You moved everything, and they came looking. They couldn't find you. You was covered under the sand. But look, you had that. You had all that. Oh, he'll be back, and oh, he can come. And you didn't stuck. You moved. They couldn't find your cancer. But you didn't stuck your head up out the sand, and now they see where you're at, and now they come in, and you just let them come on. You know, never. This is too much. Anyway, cancer. <laughs> The judgment has been made. Walk away. There's something better for you, Cancer. And change your negative thinking. And don't settle for less. If you want an equal give and take, you don't want to deal with third-party relationships for January 2021, don't do it. That That's not a debate. You go with what's in your heart. What's your wish fulfillment? Because... The universe said they'll give you the Ten of Cups as soon as you see your worth. As soon as you clearly understand and state to them that you get this and you release the negativity in regards to yourself. The negativity is you. It's not the people around you. Well, it could be still you could have negativity around you, low vibe energy. But this is some growth that you need to do to see your worth for you punishing yourself for wanting to be loved. You punishing yourself for wanting to equal give and take. You punishing yourself for not wanting to be part of a third party uh, endeavor. <laughs> Why is that? Why is you punish yourself for it? And the universe is like the moment you recognize that, 
Yes, it was heartbreaking. It's okay. And stop holding on to that heartbreak. Because if you stop holding on to the heartbreak, you can see who you are. And that's the empress. Male or female, it doesn't make a difference. And the moment you stop holding on to that heartbreak and that negativity and release it, you will see that you are the empress. And you will receive equal give and take, six of pentacles. This is the empress. This is the five of pentacles, right? Holding on to the heartbreak, three of swords. Holding on to that heartbreak, right? But he's saying release that. That's that negativity. Release that heartbreak and holding on to it so that you can see that you're the empress. You have all the things you need to move forward and, and have this fresh new beginning for January 2021. But you first got to see it in yourself and see how beautiful you are and see how it's okay to be you and want to share what you have. And if someone don't see it for what it is, that's okay too because everybody has their own journey then that's just me, that's more for you. Or more for when this true ten of cups come in, you know, less problems you're going to have with that situation. And it's the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is what you're looking for, equal give and take. And look what comes under that. The lovers. I'm not making this up, Cancer. You have a beautiful new beginning in love, but you have to start with knowing who you are first. Once you know who you are, then you can do your balancing of equal give and take within and then find the love of your life. You see that? That's beautiful, harmonious. I know can't like, yes, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for, <laughs> you know. Oh, my God. This is the last reading for the night. Cancer, that, I'm serious, though. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling the heartbreak. I'm feeling the disappointment, the negativity, the, you know, things didn't go very well for me in 2020. You know, how's it going to go in 2021? What's going to happen is we're going to leave everything in 2020, especially all the low vibe energy dealing relationships, the exes, the third parties, the people that didn't see your worth, the people you didn't cry about. The heart breaks. We're going to leave all that negative because the universe is telling you. Leave that behind because there's something better for you for January 2021. But I can't bring it to you if you're not ready for it. How are you going to get something look like this? Somebody looking like that, loving on you, and you can't even love on yourself. Huh. He ain't going to give it. You got to be equal. The energies have to match, Cancer. So you have to see this within yourself. You got to believe that you're worth equal give and take, that you are the empress, you're worth a loving relationship. You have to believe this within yourself in order for this to come in and be manifest for the universe to give it to you. Then you have to put it out there in the universe. It may not show up the way you want it and when you want it, but I truly believe that it's going to show up for you if you release the negativity and your mindset of what it is that you want, okay? Don't let the past incidents, relationships, situations cause you from being happy in the future. So do exactly what the universe has asked you to do. It said, it is time to release negativity. And that is the negativity that you have about yourself and your belief and love and what it is that you want. And once you release that, the universe is going to bring all these beautiful situations, relationships, people, friends around you. Because now cancer is saying, this is me and I do deserve this. I'm not settling for less. And if you cannot match my energy, because you know you're going to bring that energy all the way up, right? Like, <coughs> people going to have to get in the chair to look down just to see your face, cancer, all right? So bring it all the way up there, something like that, all right? Do some things that meditation, uh, affirmation thing that really makes you realize who you are and accept who you are and 
so what people didn't accept you and see what you had to offer. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. In January 2021, Cancer, I think you have some miracles and changes that's going to be coming towards your way. So continue to keep manifesting and keeping your energy high, keeping the negative energies away from you and releasing the old energies of behaviors and patterns. And don't let these third parties just happen anymore, okay? Give when, when you need to give. All right, so that is the end of your reading, Cancer. If you stay with me to the end, I thank you so much. Please give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If anything resonated with you, and this is like a situation you're going through, I always tell my my uh, I always tell my subscribers. You know that's how we manifest. We put it out into the universe. And when you do a thumbs up, you claim that video, you claim that success, that new beginning, that new love, right? That stability within yourself, that clarity of knowing who you are and the direction you want to go in. So, um, thank you so much, guys, and I will see you, Cancer, in your next reading, Love and Light.